Apple says that it is fighting this judge's order that helped to help the FBI break into a cell phone that was carried by one of the two terrorists who killed 14 people in that December attack in San Bernardino. The FBI says that it needs Apple's help to get data from an iPhone C, 5C that was owned by San Bernardino County Health Department and that was assigned to Syed Farouk, who was, one of, who was one of their employees. The iPhone has a security feature that erases data if the password set by the user is, is entered incorrectly 10 times. Here's FBI Director James Comey discussing the issue recently. It is a big problem for law enforcement armed with a search warrant when you find a device that can't be opened even though the judge said there's probable cause to open it. As I said, it affects our counterterrorism work. Um, you know, at San Bernardino, very important investigation to us. We still have one of those killers' phones that we have not been able to open. The Apple CEO, Tim Cook, says that this isn't just a, about a terrorist phone. The government, he says, wants Apple to build a back door that would affect each and every one of us. Cook says, quote, the United States government has demanded that Apple take an unprecedented step which threatens the security of our customers. We oppose this order, which has implications far beyond the legal case at hand. And, Chris, we expect this fight to go all the way to the Supreme Court.